Bioshock 2 was first announced, it had a few things working against it. It was being built by a different developer, 2K Marin, though it included members from the team that worked on the original. The game tossed out the protagonist from Bioshock, replacing him with a big daddy. Andrew Ryan was obviously out of the picture, and it wasn't clear any personality as strong as his could step in to fill the void. Also, we learned the sequel would include a multiplayer component. Now that it's all finally done, has it been worth the wait? I'm happy to say that Bioshock 2 delivers in all areas it should, and makes improvements over the original in a number of ways, as good sequels tend to do. The story this time around takes place 10 years after that of the original, and as it turns out is more focused and tightly woven than what we saw before. Overall, the underwater city of Rapture isn't as mysterious as it once was since we've been there before, but that's balanced by a clearer vision of story delivery and more meaningful moral decisions. It seems nobody bothered to patch up Rapture much in the time between games, since it still is leaky as ever. While the game isn't as graphically impressive as its predecessor, it's still one of the best looking games around thanks to its fantastic art style and use of visuals to enhance theme and tone. You'll get to see some new bits of Rapture too, along with some eerily serene underwater sequences. Sound design is also first rate, with moody music and a great array of sound effects like the shrieking of splicers and the unsettling innocence of the Little Sisters. Daddy, Daddy, over there. All set on a solid foundation of writing to drive the story. Okay, so Audio logs are still scattered around the city, and if you want to hear everything that's going on, you can search for them to get a lot of detail as you play. Or, if you don't care, there's still a great story here if you want to skip all that and charge directly through to the end. <laughs> One of the more obvious changes in the sequel is that you're now playing as a Big Daddy. Instead of looking in as an outsider at these guys and the little sisters they protect, you're now actually part of the pair, which colors your interactions with the girls in a different light. This shift in player role is built into the gameplay mechanics as well. No longer do you just harvest or save, but you can now adopt the girls and carry them on your shoulder, giving you a lot more exposure to one of gaming's strangest relationships. Daddy was sleeping for such a long time. It also ties into how Bioshock 2 builds on the element of moral choice explored in the first game and implements it throughout to a more satisfying and interesting degree. This dynamic reinforces the father-daughter relationship effectively, and as a bonus, provides for some entertaining defense sequences as you protect the girls while they harvest from corpses. Here in the sequel, you'll find gameplay progresses much as it did before but with a bunch of tweaks that make for a smoother play experience. You can have both weapons and plasmids ready at once, for instance. The upgrades you get at Power to the People stations have a more dramatic effect on weapon performance, like every hit from a ribbit gun having a chance to set an enemy on fire, which is pretty cool. Plasmid use has been made more interesting too, as your powers will change as they're upgraded. You'll go from shocking single enemies to unleashing a lightning storm from your hands, and along with a bunch of tonics that can be equipped for passive bonuses, Bioshock 2 gives you a great sense of progression and empowerment as you progress through the environments. And let's not forget the multiplayer, built by Digital Extremes. While it may be easy for many to disregard this mode since the original did not have an online component, it turns out that what's offered here can be pretty fun. I don't see it rocketing to the top of the popularity charts, but the simple interplay between plasmids and weapons, a modern warfare style progression structure, and a variety of game modes and narrative elements make this mode worth checking out. And who knows, maybe you'll get hooked. Come on, Daddy. So did 2K Marin, Digital Extremes, and everyone else involved succeed with Bioshock 2? Most definitely. It may not have the same awe-inspiring sense of mystery as the first title, but by improving the gameplay and giving more focus to the story, there's a lot of entertainment to be had here and surprises in store for those who decide to return to one of the best video game settings around. For the full written review, head over to IGN.com.